Ooh, okay. So, hello friends. Today we're doing something different. I'm trying something different. Think of it like a YouTube get ready with me style thing, but instead of makeup, it's amps and DIs. <laughs> The idea of this... Today, we are working with some DIs that have been submitted to me by Joao. Joao is a YouTube guitarist, cover maker, person. He's better than me at... Well, he's better than me at everything that I was good at when I was in my 20s, and he's also got a YouTube channel, which I didn't have in my 20s. So he's doing, he's doing pretty good for himself. But if you're unfamiliar with him, um, there are links click them, go take a look, his content and covers are next level. And finally, before we get into it, if you have an idea of someone else that I should reach out to for this, the reamping, I need a name for this, the reamping show. It's not, it's not cool. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. If you think that there's someone that would be good here doing tones, comment with their name and I'll have a look and see if they're interested. I think if you tag them, they get notified so then they can decide if it's worthwhile. I think that works. Not sure. And I've got a note down here saying, you should ask people to subscribe very nicely. There you go. All right, time to do the interesting thing and play with some amps. Uh, but first I should probably change to a wider lens. There we go. So I hold all the audio, uh, drums, bass, DIs, everything within Logic. Logic is connected to my Focusrite interface, which is connected to my Bantam patch bay. It comes out of output 10 using the orange, special orange reamp cable, which goes down to the Palmer de Capo, which is my reamp box. This uh, is what changes the impedance from line level to instrument. I think that's correct. I know that it's needed, I just couldn't really tell you the scientific reason why. I know it sounds better. This also allows me to lift any ground noise if there is any. It runs up to the to the Marshall here, which is a JCM800 modded by Dan Gower. At the moment we've got a VFE focus pedal. I'll show you that here in line, which I'm going to turn off for now. That then goes from the JCM, modified by Gower, into the SUR load box. That comes out of here to my RedNet X2P, which is a it's a set of preamps that connect to my main interface via Dante, which is, an, uh, which is a protocol that works over Ethernet. So that Ethernet cable then plugs into my interface, and this allows me to take preamps anywhere within my studio. I know it's not very big, but it means that if someone wants to sing at the back of the room, and be here with headphones and hear what I'm playing where you are. I don't have to run a really long cable, I just have to run a, an ethernet cable because it's powered over ethernet, which I thought was really cool. Um, we also have in line my Fatso. Let's see if I can show you that. It's in bypass at the moment. I was playing with the right settings and the input and the output, so hopefully when I do turn that back on, um, it will be, the volume won't change too much, if at all. I'll walk you through the settings of the amp and what's special about the modification. I've got the impulse, the cab impulse that I want to run is loaded into the SIR, so I'm not having to use any software, so everything is happening in the analog domain out here. I'll then switch in and out the fat so, and I'll show you it in context. Shall we take a listen to the original guitar tone? So I think it's a pretty good sound. It's a little, it's dark, but we've got a bit of air, and we've got a bit of a presence peak up in the top end too. It's quite a lot of low end. My Marshall won't put out that much low end. It's likely that after reamping, I'll probably have to add some EQ, probably with a Poltec style thing, just to make it very bold and, and round without it being super uh, narrow. 
but shall we take a look at the DI going out to the Marshall? Yeah, it sounds a bit worthy without that pedal, doesn't it? So this is the difference that it makes. Which I think is pretty cool. So the cool thing about the mod and the Marshall and the why, why I like running it this way is that we've got two gain stages, each with bright caps which are switchable. We've also got, I've shot some B-roll of this, we've got a violent switch which is an additional gain control. So if I take that out, it becomes a lot tighter. But as soon as I pull it out, it's going to go quiet because that gain stage is doing nothing. It gets really chewy and aggressive. Really like that. We've also got this feel knob at the front. And to me, this sounds a bit like, um, it just makes the amp tighter. Or really fluffy. If I take the pedal out, it gets a bit more exaggerated. I think we had it about here, right? With the pedal in. We've also got a mid shift so we can make it modern. A hybrid of the two. Or stock. You hear the saturation jump up. That's why I really like this setting. Also got two more settings on the back here. One is a, a depth control and one is resonance. I think it's, re it's not. It's it's called glass. It changes the tilt of the power section to s determine how bright the amp is overall, which I think is a really nice feature. Um, how do I show you this? Okay, we're at noon. So I'm gonna turn it all the way down and then all the way up and then back to noon. So all the way noon, uh, all the way off. That should be about 12 o'clock. This is all the way up. That's about where we were. Which I think is really cool. So it means that there's quite a lot of tonal variation and feel variation available within the amp, which I really like. Should we take a look at what the Fatso does? Mm -mm -mm. All right, this, yeah, that's in amongst all the cables. Cool. So we're in bypass at the moment. And then if I take it out of bypass. This warmth circuit is taming the high end. This its spank setting is kind of like a really hard SSL compression circuit. And we can also put in a transformer which will spike the top end. Which would be good, but his original tone was dark for a reason. So I'm, I'm actually just going to leave it. But I also think that compression adds quite a nice snap to it as well. So. Let's jump ahead in time for when the reamps are done and I'll show you what I'm going to do at the plug-in stage. So let's have a listen in context. I think that'd be smart. Let's see what level we've got come in at. Okay, so immediately uh, I'm just going to cut that amp noise out. It's one of the downsides of working with real is that you're going to have hiss. There we go, that'll do something. So I hear a few things that I might want to resolve. Let's take that EQ out. Let's just see what we're working with. Let's see what the shape of the tone is so far. I hear a lot of this area. But I also think it's quite cool. Maybe let's try making I 
Okay, so this coffee plugin is free, by the way, but it's become one of my favorites recently. Let's see what we can do here. I want to try and get some of that low end resonance that Joao originally had, but then see what else we can do. <laughs> Okay, so I made a few changes uh, to this part here. It's just really vocal in this mid-range area. I think that could have been, if I wasn't using a static IR and I was maybe blending impulses, that would have helped. But I'm really quite happy with that outcome. Maybe in future videos I can do like clean layers and leads and stuff, but for this moment in time, I'm trying to keep it as straightforward and simple to follow as possible. If you liked it, please give me, uh, give me, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Please don't forget to go and uh, look at what Joao makes because this is from his Stone Crusher video from where he got his um, Caesar handmade guitar. Very much like mine, but his is not a Telecaster shape. Um, yeah, don't know what to say. Hopefully I can get a few more amps if there's anyone that uh, would like to send an amp over for playing with for another one of these videos please just let me know uh until next time happy riffing don't be a dick come up with suggestions help me name what this is going to be called i still don't have a name all right bye bye <laughs>